Actually, this is already becoming like an episode of a drinking game where every time I, I say uh, investing or trading in the stock exchange, you drink. Okay, so just bear with me. So going back, we need to... Hi, wealthy people. And today's video... We are going to finally talk about the 10 things that you need to know before you start investing or trading in the Philippines Stock Exchange. So if you're someone who wants to know how to invest or trade in the Philippines Stock Exchange or you're someone who just wants to know any investment opportunity because you have some extra money within you because it's already 13 month um, season again. Or you're just someone who's very curious about the Philippine Stock Exchange, how it works. So this video is going to be perfect for you, so stay tuned, okay? By the way, if you're new here, hi, my name is Kez, and I make videos about how to make, save, and invest money for Filipinos applicable in the Philippines. So if you find value to any of my videos, please consider subscribing and leave a like so that it helps the video and helps YouTube to share it to more Filipinos like you, okay? So with all that being said, let's now proceed with the main topic. And before I give you the first tip, I just want to share to you the two ways and how you can earn, whether it's investing or trading in the Philippine Stock Exchange. Number one is dividend income. And number two is through capital appreciation or price increase profit. And today's video is going to be entirely focused on number two, and that's the capital appreciation or price increase profit. So now that you know the two ways on how you can earn or profit in investing or trading in the Philippine Stock Exchange, let's now proceed with the first step, and that is to read books about the Philippine Stock Exchange. Okay, so there, what's the reason, Kaz, what's the reason why you want me to read books about the Philippine Stock Exchange? The answer is for you to have the proper mindset. You see, investing or trading in the Philippine Stock Exchange is a business enterprise. It's, it's, although it is a passive income in the long run, it is a business enterprise and it's not a gamble. And it being not a gamble, you need to know at least research the basics and how it works, how you can avoid losses, most importantly. But basically, just knowing what you're getting into. Like, it's like any other business that you want to start. You need to know uh, how it works, the nitty gritty of the business, so you wouldn't suffer losses, okay? So, also, I want you to have the proper mindset because. It being a business enterprise, I want you to ultimately profit. Right on the bat, I want you to ultimately profit because um, you don't just start business because you want to incur losses, right? So obviously, you want to start or invest in the Philippine Stock Exchange because in the long run, uh, you want to at least get profits, okay? And having the correct mindset will give you a head start for what lies ahead in your investing or trading journey in the Philippine Stock Exchange, okay? So let's now proceed to number two, and that is to get a mentor. Reasons. Because what's the reason why you you want me to get a mentor? Mentors are expensive. Mentor. Because well, um, why can I just not start by myself? I, I can just do self-study, especially that I'm... I'm in a strict budget, but I also want to learn about the stock exchange, Philippine Stock Exchange. Well, you can also do that. But the thing is, that happened to me. When when the Philippine Stock Exchange investing or trading was um, introduced to me by my husband back then, I used to just do self-studies. Um, I used to just follow um, some leads on how you can trade and invest in the Philippine Stock Exchange. But I, I always, almost always find myself frustrated because um, those links that you follow on Facebook or any other social medias out there or even in Google often leads you to clickbaits or even um, scams. So not 
that I'm telling you that every link out there is a scam, right? I just want to set the record straight. Uh, this is com me coming from when I first uh, started investing or trading in the stock exchange. When I first uh, found interest in the Philippine Stock Exchange, which is around uh, four to five years ago, which was um, not that recent, but back then we didn't have uh, enough sources just like right now where um, some there are already a lot of mentors out there about the Philippine Stock Exchange that are legitimately working uh, hard for them to also share their setups and how to help Filipinos out there so okay you want to be around people who thinks like you and who wants to profit ultimately in investing or trading in the stock exchange and these are also people that eventually will become your friends you will form networks which is one of the best things that could also happen to you in a, best, a business ventures okay so businesses are composed of people and having this mentor will provide you this community of investors or traders that are fit for you for you to also reach your personal growth in investing or trading in the Philippine Stock Exchange. Alright, so now that you know that investing or trading in the Philippine Stock Exchange is a business enterprise and that you need to get a mentor for you to shorten your learning curve, then let's proceed to the number three on our list which is you need to sign up for online reliable brokers. Now, don't worry, I will make a separate video on which brokers you need to sign up for for you to get started. But just a brief background on what are online brokers. Online brokers allows you to trade or invest on stock on the stock market online. So, basically in simple terms, they will allow you to buy and sell listed stocks on the stock exchange. Number four tip is that you need to download useful apps like Investa or PSE Edge. These apps are very useful when you start your journey in investing or trading in the Philippine Stock Exchange because ever notice that some graphs that some mentors show you that are very intimidating and at the same time confusing because they're using all these jargons. So Investa, for example, will allow you to study the charts, do charting sessions of the stocks that you want to buy or just do a case study. Um, I think Investa is now charging uh, a minimal fee if you can use uh, some premium features uh, in charting. So let me know in the comments down below if you want me to make another another set of videos on which of those apps you, you want to be downloading for you to be assisted in investing or trading in the stock exchange, okay? So number five in our list is that you need to obtain and have a starting capital. Obviously, you need capital to start anything. So it also applies in investing or trading in the stock exchange. Actually, this is already becoming like an episode of a drinking game where every time I, I say it, uh, investing or trading in the stock exchange you drink okay so just bear with me so going back you need to obtain or at least have a starting capital for you to start investing or trading in the stock exchange number six in our list is you need to learn and master the basic of technical and fundamental analysis now wealthy people I will not uh, discuss what technical and fundamental analysis are in this video because this is meant for a general introduction. That's the reason also that I want you to go back to number two which is you need to get a mentor because uh, your mentor will help you understand these very important uh, topics that you need to master. So. I will just, we'll just leave it to that, that you need to learn and master the basics of technical and fundamental analysis. And just make sure that you, you're you already subscribed to the channel and you've already clicked the bell icon so you will be notified when my technical and fundamental analysis made simpler video comes out. Okay? 
So let's now get to the number seven on our list and that's for you to start paper or virtual investing or trading in the stock exchange. So how do you do this? Because how do you do virtual or uh, paper trading? What is virtual or paper trading? Now to make it simpler, paper or virtual trading is basically a method where you get to practice and apply what you've learned so far in theory using tools like Investa. So I've already mentioned Investa before and earlier in this video. So you need to really download it because Investa is one of those power, powerful and advanced app that gives you this uh, feature. I think this is no longer a free feature, but Investa just really charge you uh, around um, 99 or 100 I'm not really sure of the rates but I th the last time I checked that was 100 for you to get some of the premium features or access the premium features which includes paper or virtual trading okay so download Investa don't worry I'll, I'll also leave uh, a link or where you will be able to download Investa in the description number eight so, you need to start investing or trading actual money in small amounts. Why I want to emphasize small amounts? Because there is no other way to apply what you've learned so far without risking actual money. Now, of course, as a beginner, you, there are some people who, are, who have large risk appetites uh, on the bat, but... As a practitioner, as both an, an investor or trading in the Philippine Stock Exchange, I would recommend that you start small, but consistent. Why? Because starting small will al allow you to have or experience uh, what how the market works, but at the same time, not give you so much pressure on how you apply what you already know or what you've already studied. Because... It's, it's always different when you're already out there playing or maneuvering your online broker site. There are functions that you're still not familiar because uh, in, in paper or virtual trading, you're, you're just toggling within the Investa app. So you're, you're using their features. But it's different when you're actually using your own money, your capital through your online broker because you're you're also you're Bruh. you're you're just um, familiarizing the features of your online broker site. So there are chances that you will miss a button. You wouldn't know which button to press. How do you sell? How do you buy? So it's better to invest in small amount first. But at any rate. Uh, you, you can't also use your online brokers without really investing actual money in buying stocks or selling stocks. So, um, starting small is the best way to go. But if you lose, then that's okay. Um, you experience and then you learn. It's better to lose small amounts than wiping it all out when you've already started to invest bigger funds in your, in your account. Okay? So... Now that you've already learned the necessity of applying what you already know both in paper and in actual trading or investing, then let's get to the number nine on our list, which is do not stop learning. Now, I, I just want to emphasize this to you. Business is a continuous learning. If you stop learning, then your business dies. That's the reality and that's what's actually happening today, especially during the pandemic. You need to be resourceful and you need to find ways to be sustainable. And basically, what I want to say in this, in this tip is that you learn or you grow old or you learn or you lose. Continuous learning is the best way to go to stay and go for long. No matter what, what you do, I manage multiple businesses myself. And there is really no substitute with learning. Going out there, seeking discomfort. Because I don't want to sound preachy with, with how I want to emphasize 
that you sh- you guys should not stop learning but at ultimately i just want to like leave at leave this at this Bruh. that you need to learn so that you will become more experience in investing or trading okay and ultimately gain those profits that you've been really really working hard for last but not the least number 10 on our list is do not quit personally my husband and i still encounter losses from time to time we're not perfect and we'll never be perfect there is no perfect setup there is only a set setup that works and profits and there is also a setup that's uh, that will lead you to losses so ultimately uh, it's either your bias materializes or you cut your losses so to recap today's video I have explained to you 10 tips before you start investing or trading in the Philippine stock exchange and they are number one is that you need to read books about the Philippine stock exchange investing or trading number two is that you need to get a mentor number three is that you need to sign up for a reliable broker or reliable brokers number four you need to download useful apps number five you have to obtain or have a starting capital number six is that you need to learn and master the basics of technical and fundamental analysis number seven you need to start learning how to paper or virtual trade or invest via Investagrams or Investa. Number eight is that you need to start investing or trading actual money in small amounts. Number nine, nine tip is do not stop learning and ten is do not quit. Hi again. If you've reached this far, thank you so much for watching through the video and I appreciate you. And just remember that you can be wealthy too. See you in the next one.